Hi everyone. So uh, last time I showed one demo in which uh, we used Salesforce licensing design system and we showed the list of accounts and the cases. Uh, I I thought that to share the source code, but uh, uh, recently uh, one of our, of our YouTube users uh, they uh, they need the source code. So better I thought that to make it a unmanaged package so that uh, you can simply install it in your org rather than uh, sharing the source code and then copying and pasting from GitHub and then running it here, all those stuff. So uh, this is a fresh developer org. So I will go to the developer console now. And uh, it's neat and clean. We don't have anything. It's completely clean. No Apex classes, nothing. Okay. Okay. So as uh, this video is for uh, Lightning, and uh, it said that uh, you should enable Lightning and uh, Lightning components, in the debug mode, and those things. But uh, for the purpose of demo, we actually don't need that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you are building one app, you would need to enable this. But uh, we will talk more about that later. I think I have already covered, but I'm not sure in one of my videos. Uh, but uh, enabling this is required if you are developing one app and then uh, you want to add it to the Salesforce One navigation menu, only then you need to enable this. Otherwise, if you want to just test your app in the developer console, you don't need that. Okay? So moving forward, this is my old org, and I will uh, simply copy this uh, URL, and I will paste it over here. It will ask me to log in. Okay, so authentication is successful. So what I will do is uh, I will be sharing that unmanaged URL and you have to follow this exact same process in order to run the app. Pretty straightforward, huh? Initially when Lightning Design System came, uh, so they had to approach us. Even now also in their GitHub repository, they have some unmanaged package and you can install your app that way. It means the initial components and all. So we are done. Uh, this is green, everything green, so no errors. Sometimes it gives some error also. Okay, now uh, we will run the app, right? It is straightforward, navigate to developer console and then you have to search for the app which is uh, show account related cases and simply come over here and hit this preview button and that's it then uh, you wait for a while while salesforce loads the components and stuff and finally there it is okay so this is the same stuff and the app is working fine, perfect. So uh, that's it. So if you want to make some changes, uh, you are free to do that. Now you have this in your org, so you have to come over this area and these are the all the components. So you start from here. Uh, this is show account related cases dot app inside that we, I have referenced this. So you can account and cases which is uh, this one. So this is the component you can open it and you can see the markup and what's going on. I leave it to you to explore. Uh, let me know if you are able to successfully run this demo and see this screen which we just saw. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.